You're live on Joy News Desk. Let's take you to our earlier story um, where junior doctors in the Confanoshi Teaching Hospital are um, threatening to lay down their tools. Dr. Paco Isibedu is president of GMA in the Ashanti region. He is with us via Zoom. Doc, thanks for rejoining us. Sorry about the hiccup earlier. Uh, you were telling us the efforts that has been made to ensure that these junior doctors have been paid. Okay. Um, am I on now? Yes, you are on. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. I, I'm in the operating room and the internet reception here is quite poor. Yeah, so as um, I said earlier, there wouldn't be any strike action. Yes, um, the problem was there. They've been working, I think it's the first man. And um, by, by, um, yeah, validation, biometric registration onto the payroll was started somewhere in January. And in fact, um, our attention was drawn to this delay. So right from January, the Ghana Medical Association, uh, myself and our Vice President, Frank Trevor, we contacted the HR, and we've been doing that. It took some time for all of them to be, um, to do the biometric registration. And then I think somebody assured them they'll be paid in February, and then that didn't happen. But then um, the hospital, Told them that look, there's been delays. So whoever is in financial difficulty, the hospital usually have what we call the interest-free salary um, advance to them. But I think most of them thought they would be paid. So that wasn't done. When our attention was drawn again to that, we followed up. And indeed, there are about 147 or so house offices in Confanochi. And what happened was, I think the first batch of 57 were validated and will be paid this month. That has been confirmed from controller, that has been confirmed from the hospital, and we have confirmed that with the house offices. And then the next part, all of them, including those who were paid this month, the 57, will be paid everything and the, the arrest. Indeed. Um, last weekend, I think Sunday, the Ghana Medical Association in uh, Shanti Division. We had a meeting with them on Zoom where we explained all these and the difficulties. Way forward, I think the issue has, has been happening every year. The question they ask and we address, and I think hope we will just carry on, is that should you know the people you employ, should we wait for three, four, five months before doing all this? Can't we start these processes the very month they are? Uh, employed. If we don't have money to pay them, do we go ahead and employ mm. them? But as we are talking now, we met with them. As I said, the first batch of 57 will be paid. The hospital still has that provision where they will pay you salary advance interest free. So that letter is a week or two late. When this issue came up, the Ghana Medical Association met with the hospital, the relevant people, and it's been sorted out. So as far as we are concerned with the strike, um, it's not an issue. And we will want to assure the general public that there wouldn't be any strike. Not that they don't have an issue. They have an issue, but uh, it has um, okay. Yeah, so there wouldn't be any strike action. And I think um, the media shouldn't um, heighten high, high these tensions. Right. Especially at this time where we have COVID-19 and we're we trying to find our food. So as far as we are concerned, I work in this same hospital. Management has responded. Mm. The relevant people have responded. Those who will be paid will be paid. Those who are not paid now and need money, the hospital has written officially to confirm that position. You can go for interest-free loan. So and this month, Dr. Dr. Bedu, this month, all 157 of them will receive monies, 57 being their normal salaries and the other 100 being the hospital loans. Yes, yeah, so that one has been open to those who want. You see, last month, I think they were given the opportunity in February, but I think somebody assured them, I don't know who, that they will be paid. That's why most of them didn't avail themselves to that opportunity. So I, I just wanted to get that clarity, Dr. Bedu, pardon me, that the yes, payments yes. will begin in March. Yes, so 57 are going to be paid. That one has been confirmed from, including the five months or so arrears. And those who are interested in taking the salary advance, that one is not composed with. If you, Great. Think you can wait till 
next man to be paid, um, you don't need to assess it. But if and you so really the other hundred will be paid when? Sorry? The other hundred will be paid when? See, all of them, including those who will be paid now, will be paid in April. And that has been confessed. Because they finished with the biometrics, everything has been submitted, and they've gotten the approval. So all 147 or so of them will be paid in April. But the first 57 will get this month, that's March, including uh, the arrears, I think from September or so. And then those who will be paid in April will be paid the month of April, including five months arrears. So we negotiated, and it's been approved, and a letter to that effect has been issued, that if you need an advance, you can approach the hospital, and they will give you an okay. equivalent of your salary without you paying any interest on it. Dr. Bedu, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Dr. Parkway Sibedu is the president of the Ghana Medical Association in the Ashanti region.